Well, this is candy corn. I was going to work on showing you how to introduce a halter to a calf who is tame enough to take food from your hand. But, because nothing can ever be easy, apparently she's decided she doesn't like the food that I'm offering her, which I know we've fed her before and she usually eats. So apparently we're going to have to try this again. But in general, candy corn here is quiet enough to eat from our hand, so that makes it easier when she'll eat our food to introduce the halter. If you're trying to halter, halter break, halter train a calf who won't eat from your hand, the very first thing you have to do is teach them to eat from your hand. And that's a whole nother process. Easily done with food that they like. Kind of like halter training is with food that they like. It occurred to me that I had a different type of cake in the barn. This might have been what we've been feeding her. Cattle can be extremely particular about the type of cake they like. Look at that. Oh. Hey. Nice. Different types of cake taste different, and if your cow doesn't like one type of feed, you can always try another. I'm hoping I'll get her so caught up in eating the type that she likes. I've always left the type that she wasn't so enthusiastic about in. And she won't even notice and start eating it too. Candy corn is just about exactly one year old now. She was born right around Thanksgiving and we're here in the beginning of November with our first snow. I'm looking pretty scruffy because training cattle is dirty work. Training cattle in the snow and mud is even dirtier. They tend to slobber a lot. So I didn't see any reason to try to look too pretty to train my cow. This is another bottle calf, another calf, who's a March calf, so he's quite a bit younger than her. I'm just keeping her here so that she'll be away from the bull. If I put her with a bull now, she would calve in August, is that what I figured? And I don't want to calve in the middle of the heat of the summer. So I'm keeping her for a little bit longer. And having some competition here will help her be more enthusiastic about eating. When there's someone else who might get their food, they start to get um, protective start to get protective of their feed and afraid that the other one will get it. And so they eat faster and more aggressively. That's our first bit of actual training. Up until now. Oh, and that was the cake she didn't like. She knows the difference. Look at that. It's okay, it's your cake. This is your cake. So up until now I've just been feeding her, which is important because cows need to learn to take treats. They need to learn that they like the food. But then as I start to introduce the halter, we're going to start using the food to train her to take the halter. So first I'm just going to get her to touch the halter. And every time she touches the halter, I'm going to click. Oh, hey, you got it. I'm going to click and give her her reward. What I should have been doing is clicking every time I gave her a treat earlier. Hey, don't eat my hand. That's my hand. Ah. Nuisance. It's unfortunate that you're not the one we're training. This is your cookie. It's not for you. <laughs> I can't.
can't tell you no. That would just be mean. Body break. So anyway, what I should have been doing up till now is clicking as I give her the food. Associate the noise with the treat so she knows that there's going to be something good coming. Either way, she'll figure it out. Maybe. If she decides she's going to eat. If not, we're kind of out of luck now. Find something else that she likes. Hey, here's some salt. Because we're not going so good with cake, I will come back another time with corn and a bucket. We don't have to hand feed. We can feed in a bucket and it works just as well. So since this is getting to be so difficult, he's not tame at all, by the way. Or at least never has been until now. But I'm trying to do something else. Of waiting. Okay. Give it a lesser push to speed her up. So I'm clicking with my tongue to show her she doesn't know what it means yet. To show her that food is coming. So whatever she does, whatever she is doing when she hears the click, she will eventually associate with good things or, you know, food. And it's clicker training, which works amazingly well with travel. Makes halter breaking much easier. Even without the clicking, if I just offered her food every time I showed the bright the halter to her, she'd learn the same thing. We're just associating something fun, something good, the food, with the halter we want her to wear. Sure, you guys could lift each other for a week. He bunted me a bit there, so I made him back off because that's not okay. He's getting big enough, that's going to be dangerous. These guys, all the rest of these guys that are in here with her are bottle calves. So they're fairly tame. They're not pets, not really. But they're not afraid of us. So as they get bigger, we need to be careful and make sure they have their manners. So, Candy Corn doesn't really like to be petted. In order to put a halter on her, we're going to have to touch her. So, I'm going to work a bit on that while we're at it.
every time I run my hand over her back, I'm going to give her a cookie. And pretty soon, it's going to go from being scary to, ooh, yummy. Petting me means I get a cookie. And she's going to like it. And eventually, she'll just like it because she's getting petted like this girl is. But they have to learn that being petted is fun and enjoyable. You can't just pet them as a reward when they still think it's scary. she learned that it's fun. I'm going to have to be able to reach over her head to put the halter on and fasten it. So I want her not to be scared of that. Be able to do this. There we go. It's getting so much less scary already. She's never been petted before. This is her first time ever. Yes. And she's been hand fed before, but this is her first time ever with intent. It should go fast right here. Yes. Once they learn that we're fun, we bring food and scratches. Then everything's easy. Except the scratching. Fingers are exhausted. And filthy. Filthy fingernails. Yes. Pushing her pretty hard to see how far we can go, touching her with the halter. But when she gets worried, when she says it's too much, I back off. She's always been really persnickety about things around her face, about being touched around her face. So all the time I can spend with the halter near her face, the more time I can spend with the halter near her face, the better. Halted. He halted her first lesson. Not really, but it's fun to play with her. There we go. 
vast improvement. Can you go touch your face? What a good girl. By spending the time of making this fun for them, by petting and scratching them and giving them cookies instead of throwing them in a chute and putting a halter on, it may make our first few sessions a lot longer, but it makes the next sessions a lot shorter. And pretty soon she'll just come running to get her halter on instead of running away from us when she sees us talking. And that makes everything we do together better. Doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. Oh. What is it now?